discussing we are in process of discussing the dialogues right so on the dialogues there are two parts are left one is the date picker and other is the time picker so there are two types of pending so for that here now what i am doing here is now i am taking one button I'm taking one button uh, to select the date. So that is my current graph content and the one ID. So that uh, ID, I'm writing that select date, select date. So for this, uh, I'll write some text. So in a text, I'll write that uh, select date. So means user once click on this, it it is opened as a uh, calendar. So from the calendar, whatever the date we pick, that uh, I want to display in here. So for that here now, I'm taking one uh, text view that is my current ID. So so that is the show date. So show date. Done. So now we will write the code. Here. So to write this uh, code here, first of all, we required here a uh, calendar. So first of all, we will apply listener for the at this button. So that is binding that binding that. So show select date right select date dot set on click list. So as a user, once I click on that, so that button, so I have to select the date. So to select that here now, here I'm declaring one calendar where calendar, so where calendar, where calendar equal to calendar dot get instant. So I'm getting the calendar instant view. So I want to get the calendar. So from here now I want to get here year, month, and day. So for that year, first I'm writing that M year. So just it is my declaration. So from the above calendar, what is uh, we declared? So from there, I want to get. So what what I I have to get here calendar dot. Uh, here I want to get the year. Right. Next to where M month so i want to get the month so that is equal to here what should i get here calendar dot get so from here now i suppose to get the calendar dot month so then where m day equal to calendar dot calendar dot get so calendar dot so day of the month, right? So three values we got here. Now here we supposed to write the date picker dialog. So we are writing here the date picker dialog. So how to write the date picker dialog? So where, so I'm writing the date picker dialog. So that is equal to, so date picker dialog, date picker dialog of, so within a this, this at the rate, context here also it, it, it should be with reference of the context then here we supposed to write this date picker dialog dot on date change listener so we are on date set listener on date set listener we have to apply that on date set listener so within this on date set listener so here it will be giving like a view that view year month and date here the return type should be whatever we given that written type, right? So whatever we given the written type, that should be here. M year. M year. So M month and M day. So these are the values we have to give as a return purpose. Done. So now within this now we supposed to uh, add the data. So for that here binding the so that is binding dot so show date like show date dot text 
So we are setting the text. Text equal to. So here, what is the values we are getting here? So here, first I want to display here, less. So I want some separation, right? Less month. So that is the one plus hyphen. Then last it is the day of the month, right? So these three values we set it for this. So here it is the handling the list. So now we will run this part. So how that uh, date picker is showing this, we will run here now. So here I'm running this now. If I connected one point first, we will run and we will see, okay. Finally, we have to write one more thing here. So that is uh, date picker dialog dot show. So we have to show the date picker. But now I'm running this. Otherwise, if you won't write the show, it cannot display the time. Right, I'm running. Now we will see this output. Then we'll discuss the next step. Is running, it is taking a little bit time to run this.
it is taking too much time to run this. Right, we will see the output. It's taking too much time to go. Wait. Now we will do this here now. So I'm clicking on here now. The select the date. See, so once I click on that, so that date has selected. So now by clicking this, the date has been. So this is about the date picker. Similar, you can see that time picker. So write the time picker dialog here. I'll copy this to copy this to, and I'll paste here. So this I'm changing as a select type. So here also I'm changing this as a select type. And this instead of show date, I write as a show type. So just I have modified the UI like this. Then uh, once I enter into this uh, Kotlin, here in the Kotlin, we will uh, modify the code. So for the Kotlin, uh, we have to write that. 
So how to write that uh, here in a Kotlin to here. I'll apply, I'll add that binding dot. Right. Binding dot select type, right? Select type dot set on click listener. So applying the on click listener here. On click listener. So once I add an on click listener, here now I supposed to right here. Even here also, we need a calendar. So, for that reason, here, I'll copy these four lines and I'll paste it. Right. But here, we need a different lines. So, here I need so here I need M hour. Means this is a type, right? So, I, I, I'll add here M hour and uh, M minute hour minute and second so these four va these three values i need so second so these three values i need right now here uh, like similar we will add the similar how we added the date picker dialog here like that we will add the type picker dialog. so the type picker dialog we will add here so this is the type picker dialog equal to so i'll apply here the Time picker dialog. So that is here now. So time picker dialog of this at the rate the uh, main activity. So similar context we will apply here. Now here this is little bit different. For this here now, we supposed to add an object. So that is with reference of the object here. So we have to add time picker dialog dot. So our time select listener. This is. So here yeah, we have to add like this. So in this there is a one override method. So that override method we supposed to add in. So that is the on time set. So that is the override method we have to add within this. Right. Even for this also here in a written type. So here it will come. That is a f hour and uh, m minute. So seconds we want to get here. Seconds we will write to parts. Right. So now here, uh, similar way, here we have to write that the time picker dialog dot. So the time picker dialog dot show. So we have to write here show. Yeah, right. Then here we supposed to add. Uh, we supposed to add the time. So that is binding dot. So. So. Time right to type dot text. So we supposed to set the text button equal to. So here now, uh, what is the text here? So that is hour of the day plus so minute. So both values we have to. Add that's it. Power of the day. That here also we used to change this. So that is the uh, our this is our and this is minute. So this is minute and this is second. Right now. I'm running this. Now we will see this out.
it is launching i will be safe as well Here now, I'm selecting this. The time has given me. Now I'm selecting the time has given like this. So here AM and PM, you just to select. So for example, now I'm selecting P. So 9, by so click on the P. Then it will display as the 24 hour clock that is a 41 to the light. So this is about the dialogue. Right? So now, with this, the dialogues uh, as completed. Also, the very basic components of Android part as completed. Means, as of now, whatever the components and whatever the concepts we discussed. So with that, the static uh, development app, uh, app part has completed. Now from here, so the next step is main and important so that is uh, to handle dynamic uh, responses like uh, dynamic responses in the means we have to communicate to the server like for example i have to register in an application or i have to register uh, i have to log in into the application so those all are from the server side so the server side means it should be like it will be from the server side it can handle so for that there is a big uh, there is a big concept that is we can say has the web services and this web services knowledge is must for a developer even if you are trying to get a job as a fresher or as an experience this web services knowledge is the must and important so that is the reason it will be like total the web services concept is the so that is the four to five hours so that four to five hours as main and important so that uh, four to five hours what we supposed to do is first we will do the registration so like using one uh, api so means api means application user interface so that we supposed to so registered using the API what they given. Then after uh, we supposed to log in into the application. So that is a API and the login into the application. Next step is to log in using whatever the like let us say I have registered with my mail ID. So with the same mail ID, we can log in into the application using the same mail ID. And after that, we get some personalized data into that and also we will maintain the session just that the time waiting on the call
Yeah. So that's exactly. So now, uh, that uh, whatever just now I'm saying, right? So those concepts, uh, we will continue from tomorrow. So from tomorrow, it will be the main and important. So don't that will be that. See, it's next. So,